the replay mod in Minecraft 1.19.3. Let's get it. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is where you can find our in-depth text tutorial for how to get the replay mod. It's worth noting that the replay mod is honestly one of the best mods for creating cinematic style Minecraft videos, where you can actually travel through the world and record characters from almost an external camera. It's really, really cool, and uh, it's honestly a must-have if you're creating Minecraft Let's Plays and things like that. So, nevertheless, in order to get it again, second link in the description down below takes you here and if you want to go through this at your own pace you can do so using this tutorial however if not go ahead and click on the download replay mod button that will take you to the official replay mod download page where you want to scroll down here and make sure that you download the minecraft 1.19.3 version of replay mod right here it is click on the download button to the right over here and the download will begin after a few seconds in the bottom left of google chrome you may need to keep this in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, but either way, it's 100% safe to do so. Now we can move on to getting fabric. The replay mod is a fabric mod, so we need to download the fabric mod loader. You can find this in the description down below. I believe it's the third link down below. And when you come here, this is our in-depth guide for, you guessed it, getting fabric. However, I do want to mention that we're going to go over the basics of getting fabric in this video. And if you do have any in-depth issues or something like that, there's a video here as well as this article to help. But now let's go ahead and click the download fabric button to be taken to the official fabric download page. On this page, you want to click on the download universal jar button. The reason for that is because this is going to allow you to install other Minecraft mods and things like that in the future if we use the universal jar a lot easier. So let's go ahead and download the universal jar there. And just as with the replay mod, we need to keep this in the bottom of the Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox. The last thing we need is the Fabric API. This is an API mod that basically allows Replay Mod to work with Fabric. Once you're here, scroll down, click the yellow Download Fabric API button to be taken here. Then on the right hand side, scroll into the Minecraft 1.19 section and under the 1.19.3 Fabric API version right here. Click the orange download button and you may need to keep or save it as we've had to do with the other mods. Once that's finished downloading though, we can minimize our browser here and what we need to do is move these to our desktop. To do that, go ahead and click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads here. Now you may have a downloads folder. If you do, click on it. If you don't, click on file explorer and then come to the left hand side here and scroll down to the this PC section. Under that, you'll have the downloads option and click that to see all of the files that you've downloaded. Fabric API, the Fabric Installer, and of course the Replay Mod. Drag and drop these to the desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we're actually going to be focusing on the Fabric Installer here. So in order to do that, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here, or the icons look different. It's a WinRAR file, it's something that's not like the icons you see here. Well, if that's the case, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and obviously, the Replay mod is a Minecraft mod, so we need Java 17. Luckily, we've got this in-depth guide that goes over everything you need to know to get it. You may also need to run the jar fix, and this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Nevertheless, though, make sure you get Java first, then run the jar fix, otherwise the jar fix won't work correctly. Nevertheless, we can now minimize our browser and get Fabric installed. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. Again, you do want to make sure that this is the Fabric installer and not the Fabric API. Fabric API won't open like this. But nevertheless, as you can see, we have Minecraft version 1.19.3. As long as that's selected, if not select it in this drop down, we can click install. Then it's going to go ahead and install and boom, Fabric 1.19.3 has been successfully installed. There are three things that could happen that would cause this not to install successfully or for you not to have Fabric in the Minecraft launcher here in a second. The first is that the Minecraft launcher is open. If that's the case, close it. The second is that Minecraft is open. If that's the case, close it too. Both of those need to be closed for this to work correctly. The third thing is if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before. If that's the case, go play it, come back, and you'll be good to go. However, before we move on to installing Replay Mod, have a nice from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love to Apex so much, we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And should you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead, click OK here, and close out of the Fabric Installer. You can also delete it from your desktop. Now let's get the Replay Mod and the Fabric API by extension. You need them both installed. To do that, open up the Minecraft Launcher here. Now, when you open up the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go and navigate to the Installations tab in it. One second, seems like mine needs to update. So there we go, the Minecraft Launcher is in fact open. 
And now we can go ahead and get these installed. Like I said, you want to go to the installations tab at the top here, and you should have a fabric loader profile. If you don't, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked modded, disappears, check modded, it appears. If you still don't have this fabric loader profile though, go ahead and click new installation here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it replay mod 1.19.3. The most important part of this though is clicking this version drop-down box and selecting release fabric loader 1.19.3 from this list. If you have multiple ones, select the one closest to the top. By the way, this might not be at the top for you. You may need to scroll down. I've seen it be at the very, very bottom. I've also seen it be scattered in the middle here. So just want to make sure though that fabric loader 1.19.3 is selected. We then want to change our resolution, right? Like so. You don't have to, but I'm doing that so we can see what we get in game. Now, before we launch Minecraft with Fabric, we actually need to get our mods installed. So hover over either the Fabric Loader profile you had or the one you created, it doesn't matter which, and click the folder icon that appears. That's going to open up your .minecraft folder here, and in here you should have a mods folder. But if you don't have a mods folder, like I don't now, go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder, and now drag and drop the replay mod and the fabric API into this mods folder, right like so. It's that easy to get these mods installed. Now we can close out of the mods folder and launch up Minecraft with either the profile we created or the one that was there by default. Just click play. And then when you click play, click play again, and it's going to launch up Minecraft. The reason you have to put, click play twice, by the way, is because you're playing modded Minecraft. So that's why that happens. Nevertheless, I'll go ahead and meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show you that the replay mod is working. There is also, though, one more thing that we need to install in order to get the replay mod fully working and allow you to save videos, and that is FFmpeg. So we'll show you how to get that here in a second. But first, let's just prove that the replay mod is, in fact, launching and working in-game. So here we are on the Minecraft launcher, and we have this nice button next to Realms here. This is the Replay Viewer, and this is where all of your replays will be found. But if we launch really fast into a single-player world, we'll be able to see, and this works in multiplayer as well, but if we launch in here, we'll be able to see that the recording starts. How do you see that? Well, in the top left, it says Recording. You can change this to where it doesn't start recording right away, but it is up to you. By default, it does. You can also come in here and do things like pause the recording and stop the recording directly from the escape menu, the pause menu, and Minecraft. And again, this does work on servers. Now at this point, it's recording, right? As we move around the world and all that stuff, the camera is recording everything in the render distance. So even if it's not, you know, directly in front of us, let's say it's something behind us or whatever, the camera is recording it and we can show that later. Now once we're finished, we're done, we can go ahead and just save and quit and it will go ahead and save the recording. As you can see up here in the top right, it is saved. We come into the replay viewer, here it is, and we can load this up and start creating a video. So boom, move around. Basically, it's like spectator mode, so you can set keyframes and all that. However, at this point, if you wanted to save this, what you would do is you would go ahead and add time keyframes. So we would do that, and then we would do, I think, uh, let's see. This has always been confusing to me how the time keyframes work. But yeah, I would add one there, and then we would add like a keyframe, let's say right here, and then come over here and add another one kind of behind me as the player. So we'll come over here and add another keyframe right there. Keyframes, basically the movement, time keyframes. I don't know exactly how those work, but now we can watch this back, right? And we can see how this plays. So it seems like it's gonna be kind of stuck here and then it should start moving. There we go, right like so as we move throughout the world. It kind of cuts through things. You can do this way better than I am. This is just for the example of this tutorial here. But nevertheless, and there's me coming through, because my time keyframes are messed up, it looks like I'm moving in slow motion. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and render this and click render, it's uh, it might work, but I don't think it is. Yeah, to render a video, you need FFmpeg installed. Let's go ahead and get that. So let's go back here and install FFmpeg. Now, I would recommend closing out of Minecraft to do this. Let's go ahead and do that. And now go back to the description of this video and go to this website. This is the replay mod documentation. This is super, super important to check out because if you want to know how to not have it slow motion, guess what? This tutorial here will help you. All of this stuff will help you. This goes through so much more in depth than what I even know about Replay Mod. I know how to install it, how to get FFmpeg, how to get it working, but I've never actually used it despite making Minecraft videos for anything in depth like recording. So nevertheless, once you're here though, you want to click scroll down and then click on this installing FFmpeg button. Then you want to go ahead and under Windows and click this link here. When you click it, it's going to download FFmpeg automatically in the bottom left, right like so. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and minimize your browser. And this is us going to be found in the downloads folder, which we found earlier. So go back to your downloads folder. And then once you're in your downloads folder, you will have FFmpeg, right like so. Now, what we want to do is right click on this and click extract all and then click extract. When you do that, it's going to go ahead and extract this from a .zip file into a file right like so. What we then want to do is delete the .zip file. Finally, the last step is actually an easy one. 
Go ahead and open this up and you'll have another folder most likely that says FF Impact. Open that up and then when you see bin, doc, presets, things like this, go ahead and click back one arrow and then drag and drop this to your desktop. Now we have an FFmpeg folder that as soon as we open it, we see this. To install this into Minecraft, all you've got to do is open up the Minecraft Launcher. And then in the Minecraft Launcher, go into the Installations tab again. From the Installations tab, what you want to do is hover over the Fabric Loader. Click the folder that appears here, right like so. That's going to open up the .minecraft folder. And last but not least, drag and drop FFmpeg into this folder. Boom. There we go. Now it's done. Now if we go ahead and launch up Minecraft with the replay mod again, we will be able to save that video. Let me show you. So here we are, we were able to just pull that video right back up that we were making. You can see the keyframes and stuff like that. We can also come and add a keyframe. We'll actually start this, let's say over here, and add a keyframe right at the beginning, because why not? Now, in order to save this, we can click this. You can name it, all of that stuff. But the key thing that we want to do is make sure that we click Render. When we click Render, it's immediately going to start exporting this video, right like so. This didn't happen before because we didn't have FFmpeg installed. With FFmpeg installed and working correctly, it just works. It just extracts, or not extracts, it just renders this video. And what's crazy is this is happening all live in Minecraft. You can even show a preview and see what exact frame it's rendering when it's rendering it. Absolutely amazing. Once this is rendered, you're probably going to be wondering where these videos are located. Well, you can actually click the open video folder here and it will open it up. But if for whatever reason you don't click that, guess what? That dot Minecraft folder that we've gotten to a few times at this point from the Minecraft launcher, there's now a replay underscore videos folder. And that's where all of the videos you export are located. Just like this one right here that we just created. Pretty cool stuff, right? So nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it allows you to make some awesome Minecraft videos in the future using the replay mod. Truthfully, it's amazing how powerful this mod is and the documentation linked in the description down below will help you get things up and running even better. For example, it talks about the different movement, camera, things like that that you can do. You can change the camera speed, how to change the replay speed, all of that stuff is in depth and covered there. So nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week on Minecraft, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.